What is up, Coratics? In this video, we'll be talking about this week's Triple Money Event Week as well as the property and vehicle discounts. This event week is for November 16th through November 22nd, 2023. The current prize ride for this week is the Karen 190Z. This one is primarily based on the Nissan Fairlady Z mixed with the Toyota 2000 GT and used to be available from Landry Motorcycle website for a price of 900000 but it was a removed website car. So to get this one for free, you have to place top 5 in an LS Carmate Series race for only 2 days in a row, so pretty easy this week. In regards to performance, it's in the Sports Classics class and is a top 15 competing car on most tracks, right around the same performance as the Casco. Plus it has great customization and is very nice to drive as well. Highly recommend trying to get this one if you don't already own it. Continuing to the test drive vehicles for this week, we have the Hermes, the Z-Type and the Mamba as well. And both of these are removed website cars, except for the Mamba, so make sure to buy the Hermes and the Z-Type this week if you're wanting to get them. And for current gen console users, we have the Monstrosity as the HSW test ride vehicle for this week. Continuing to the Casino Podium vehicle, we have the Conjo SJ. I think it's absolutely hilarious to see a Honda Civic on the podium, but for those of you who don't know, this thing has a normal price of over 1.3 million and a trade price of about a million, so it's not a cheap car. In regards to performance, it's in the Coupes class, which is actually pretty cool. However, it's one of the slowest ones in that class regardless. But I will say it does have very good customization, which is the main reason it's so expensive. In terms of the dealership cars for this week, for luxury autos, we have the Revolter and the ETR1. And both of these were removed website cars, so make sure to get them this week. Continuing to Simeons, we have the Tesseract, the Emerus, the Furia, the Click Wagon, and the Vigero ZX as well. And none of these were removed website cars, so keep that in mind. Moving on to the discounts, in terms of property discounts, we have 50% off the apartments, which is fantastic for those of you who need more garage space or just want to move to a different location. Plus, 50% off the facilities as well as the upgrades and renovations for them as well. So, wow, half price facilities with upgrades, that's very substantial. Definitely make sure to pick up a facility this week if you don't already own one. Continuing to the vehicle discounts, we have 50% off the Hermes from a test ride. This one is, of course, a removed website car. It's in the muscle car class and has mid-tier performance in that class. It has great customization and is pretty quick in a straight line with some decent handling as well. But where it suffers and holds it back is its poor braking, even with max upgrades, which is a real shame. But regardless, it's still a fantastic car, especially at this price. Next up, we have 50% off the Revolter from Luxury Autos, another removed website car. This one's in a sports class and has really good acceleration for being a massive sedan. Plus, it has great pushing power as well. It's a ton of fun to drive with its brutal power and pushing power. For reference, it's around the pace of an Obey 9F on a track, which is very impressive. Continuing, we have 50% off the ETR1, which again was also a remove website car. This one's in a supercar class and has incredible handling and a good exhaust note as well. However, where it lacks is in top speed, being a good 5 miles per hour off most supercars which puts it around 25th place in that class for most tracks, which is not bad, but I really wish it would have had a better top speed. It would probably be like in top 10. Continuing to the Legendary Motorcycle website, we have 40% off the Emirates. This is the fastest non-HSW supercar for most tracks alongside the Krieger. It's just an absolute beast. Definitely recommend purchasing this one if you don't already own it. It's very, very quick, plus it offers some pretty good customization as well. Next up, we have 50% off the Zentorno. So this is arguably the best budget supercar in the game due to its performance, customization, and how easy it is to drive fast. It's still in top 20 for most tracks, which is just insane to think about with all the quick supercars added over the years. Plus, the back of it is actually bulletproof, which can help in certain missions and stuff. It's already a cheap car at about 700000 and at half price, at about 360000 this is an insanely good deal. Moving on to the Cyrus San Andreas website, we have 40% off the Click Wagon, which was recently added with the Mercenaries DLC. This one's in the muscle car class and is one of the slower cars in that class. 
However, that's not the reason you buy this car. You buy it because of its classy styling and great customization, and I think Rockstar did a great job in that regard. It's a great car for this price if you like these types of classic cruisers. And lastly, for the Warstock website, we have 25% off the Raiju Jet continuing from last week. So this is currently the fastest aircraft in the game with a top speed of over 230 miles per hour. Now its cannons aren't that great, but I do think it's well worth its normal price in GT Online. And at 25% off, I think it's a great buy if you've been wanting to get it. Next up, on some miscellaneous discounts, we have free drinks at the casino this week. Moving on to the gun van, we have the following weapons available this week. Now in regards to community challenges, this week if we earn over a hundred billion dollars from the Doomsday Heist Act 3 finale this week, we'll get an exclusive livery for his internal later this year with the December DLC. Now that's a pretty random car for them to choose, so I think it's very possible his internal might be getting maybe an HSW upgrade with the December DLC, which honestly I think would be really cool. Also continuing this month, we have the Sprunk vs E. Cola challenge. So as a community, if we drink over 100 million cans of Sprunk and E. Cola before November 29th, we'll unlock custom Sprunk and E. Cola vanity license plates, the Sprunk and E. Cola bodysuits, and a Sprunk and E. Cola livery for the Raiju Jet later this year with the December DLC, so very cool. Continuing to Triple Money, we have Triple Money NRP on select community series jobs. Continuing to Double Money, we have Double Money NRP on the Doomsday Heist prep missions. And Double Money NRP on the Act 3 finale. Again, it is only the finale paying Double Money. Act 1, which is Data Breaches, and Act 2, which is Bogdan, will not be paying Double Money. Again, it is only Act 3, which is the Doomsday Scenario. Now also, very randomly, the setup costs for the original heists are free this week, which again is pretty random since they aren't double money, but anyways, also, peyote plants are back, which I guess is pretty cool, although I think it would have made a lot more sense during Halloween, but anyways. Lastly for the time trials, this week's normal time trial is Elysian Island 2. I highly recommend a quick bike for this one. For the premium race this week, we have the supercar race taking off. I highly recommend the Emirates, Krieger, Devastate, or LM87 for this race. And if you're on current gen, I highly recommend using the HSW Weaponized Ignis or the HSW Devest 8. And lastly, for current gen console users, the HSW Time Trial Specific Bluffs. As always, the HSW Hakachu Drag will be the best one for these. In terms of my vehicle discount pick of the week, I'm going to have to go with the Emirates. It's 40% off and is one of the fastest cars in the supercar class. I know it's pricey, but when you consider the performance you're getting, I think it's a great deal. And if you can't afford the Emirates, a good second option for sure is a Zentorno. That one is honestly a gift at that price. Anyways guys, overall this event week is pretty good, but the triple and double money opportunities aren't the greatest. I really feel they should have given us more of a variety, not just essentially two things on bonus money. At least the vehicle discounts are pretty good, but um, yeah, bonus money not all that great this week. I guess we'll see what happens next week. But anyways, again guys, thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.